Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today, we discuss one of my favorite Patek Philippe watches, and possibly the reference that I would be most likely to buy for myself. This is the 5960P-015. It is a 2010 update of the 2006 5960, and the 2010 update was to the dial, which became a sunburst blue. Platinum and 40 millimeters, it's an easy watch to wear on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It's not excessive, lug to lug under 50 millimeters at 49.2, which I consider to be the rough range, the, the outer limit for a, a watch for a smaller male wrist. I say 50 millimeters lug to lug or fewer for a wrist of 14 to 16 and a half centimeters circumference. So small wristed males, this is excellent for you. And it's also a viable unisex option. 13.7 millimeters thick, but with a generously sloped case flank and concave bezel, it does slide easily beneath the cuff. The spacing between the lugs is 21 millimeters, and I like that. Uh, 20 would have been a little bit skinny. 21, especially for a watch designed in the mid 2000s, is a very contemporary temporary broad stance. You can see the classical Patek Philippe diamond, a top Vesselton diamond between the lugs, denoting that this is a platinum case. And of course, this is a factory strap. Make no mistake, it's a Patek Philippe factory strap and a gorgeous one. And it's the reason I'm reshooting a watch that I've previously filmed, because it does transform the aesthetic of the watch. It makes it decidedly more upbeat and sporting. But you still get the same degree of quality, both of strap and of clasp. Filigree style buckle, Patek Philippe platinum deployment clasp, platinum clasp for a platinum watch as it should be. You can see that the case itself, and let's try to give ourselves a bit more light here because we do want to get close and appreciate the details, but the case itself is fluid, it's sinuous, it's sexy, it's the opposite of a blocky sports watch. This is a watch that is overtly sporting even if it's not highly water resistant. It can be considered a sporting style and that starts with the elegance of the case band which is both sinuous and strong. You can see that the horizontal formed by the junction of the bezel in the mid case gives it a few hard masculine character lines circumferentially. On the crown side you can see the Patek Philippe Calatrava cross and vintage inspired pump pushers. The bezel is concave to visually pair the mass of the watch. It's not a huge watch but it's an effective technique that makes it appear even slimmer and more slender than it is. Let's quickly go through all of the features and complications that you get with this watch. You get an annual calendar, the day, the date, and the month. It needs be adjusted only once per year during the jump from February to March. You get a power reserve right underneath the date, 45 to 55 hour power reserve, and you have that little reserve indicator in miniature to help you keep track. You can see just beneath the leaf or foist style hands, fully loomed, there will be a loom shot, and the watch is both a chronograph and a flyback chronograph that you can reset and restart with a single push of the pusher down at four o'clock. There is a mono counter at six o'clock featuring both chronograph minutes and chronograph hours. And if you look very carefully, you can see a navy blue aperture just below the axis of the chronograph counters. And that is the AM, PM, or day night indicator that lets you know when you're in the danger zone, when you don't want to use the quick adjusters to set the calendar. It's also helpful for discerning AM, PM if you happen to be working indoors for an extended period. The dial has an explosive blue sunburst base, and all of the indices are both diamond polished and hand applied crafted of white gold like the hands themselves. This is a lot of watch in a small space. 40 to 40.5 millimeter watch depending on where you measure it. But the highlight for many is going to be the caliber that you get. This was Patek Philippe's first manufacturer automatic chronograph caliber when introduced back in 2006. Now you can see it has all the toys. Unidirectional winding with ceramic rotor bearings for long wearing durability and efficiency. Unidirectional is more efficient. You have both a column wheel and vertical clutch chronograph. So you have the crisp actuation of a column wheel mechanism. You can see the recentering hammers of the chronograph acting on the heart cams at center. You see everything here. Column wheel and vertical clutch. And because the watch does not conventionally feature running seconds, you want to leave the chronograph running if you like to have constant seconds and not a dead dial. With the vertical clutch, you can leave the chronograph running to have seconds on the dial with no additional wear and tear. And again, the column wheel structure making for a very crisp action. More toys. Okay, you got it. 456 parts, 40 joules. Like I said, a lot of watch in a small space. Silicon hairspring, anti-magnetic, and important to note, Gyromax style free sprung balance. So it's able to take and hold a six position adjustment, one more than a chronometer. And the free sprung architecture helps it to retain that in the face of bumps, disruptions, and shocks on the wrist. 30 meters water resistant, so it's not a watch to soak. But if you want to get wild but not wet, 
this watch is your ticket. 28,800 vibrations per hour is the beat rate. It's a modern high beat caliber, and the finish is immaculate. Though the Geneva Hallmark is no longer used at Patek Philippe, the Patek Philippe seal speaks to the same level of exacting standards, and if you loop this watch, you will not regret it. Mirrored anglage, macro and micro perlage, circular Cote de Genève, you could see straight graining, radial graining, black polished screw heads with chamfered slots. It's all here. You can see that mirrored anglage lighting up as I turn the watch flat to the camera. And finally, this is a timepiece that is easy to wear on a broad range of wrists, and Patek guarantees its precision. The Patek Philippe seal, in conjunction with that silicon Spiromax hairspring, Patek attests to minus three plus two seconds per day or better. Everything in 40 to Roughly 40.5 millimeters. This is the ticket and the Patek I'd be most likely to buy for myself. See it and make it yours on the watch box. Patek Philippe 5960P.